What's up everyone, thanks for joining. I wanted to share these videos of my hydroponic journey, indoor cultivation and growing from 2015 to currently. I figured I could learn something new or someone else could learn something new. So let's get into it. So right off the bat, you can see here, I just use a simple paper towel for germination, put some seeds on it, lightly sprayed it every now and then, only when it dried out. Try not to make it dry out too much. And then I put it in to Ziploc bags. Within a few days, up to a week, they will start to germinate and sprout. And there it is. If you can try to keep the Ziploc bag over a vent in your house that has warm heat on top of the fridge or possibly a heat mat, if you can purchase one. Now, there are many, many ways to do this. This is how I do this. This is what works for me. Something that works for me may not work for you. But this definitely gave me a high success rate. So right here, you can see I germinated some Thai purple basil and I believe germinated within a week, maybe five days. So this would be the germination of oregano seeds. Now, it does take some time. Don't get frustrated if it doesn't work the first few times. You know, sometimes this takes a few times to get it right. So don't be discouraged if you don't see anything the first time. Just try not to give up. So this is the system I went with when I first started. I was going for the crackty method. Basically, it's a floating raft on water and in a container. That's it. No nutrients, no air stone, no circulation, nothing. Pretty simple, basic system. As I said before, these are pictures of when I first started. So at this point, I basically knew nothing. I was learning as I went. I was, you know, trying new things. So right here is a big tote that I got from either Home Depot, Walmart, or Canadian Tire. And for the floating raft, I used Styrofoam. I also used some neti pots that you can buy from a hydroponic store. If you don't have neti pots, you can use something like maybe a plastic cup and cut some holes at the bottom of it so the roots can get out. So for this next photo you see coming up, I used hydrogen clay pebbles. You can purchase them at normally any hydroponic store. I know it's made out of volcanic rock. So this is just to support the plants, the seedlings, so they can grow and catch the water beneath. You don't have to use hydrogen clay pebbles. You can use cocoa core, rock wool, vermiculite, uh, different types of foams. There's all kinds of cool different types of growing media. I just found for me that the success rate was really high for me using the hydrogen clay pebbles. Right here, you can see that the seedlings are growing up quite well. I used an LED full spectrum light and I also added a water pump and air stone in the water inside the container. So I don't think this is considered the crafty method anymore, more like a DWC, a deep water culture, but that's what I went with. A different view for you guys so you can see the light I used. I believe it's called a UFO LED full spectrum 200 watt light and I believe it only uses 30 to 60 watts, so it's pretty cool. You can see here we're having some success and good growth rate with the spinach. Pretty impressive. Cool story, it's quite fascinating how plants and nature work is that uh, I had a purple basil, Thai basil, beside the green Genovese basil, the sweet basil, and that's what it produced. It cross-pollinated and it gave me a beautiful purple and green basil. Thanks a lot for joining you guys on this episode on my hydroponic journey. If you do like these videos, please leave a like, subscribe, follow, or comment. I do enjoy making these videos and I hope I see you all again.